Man, I am so excited about what God has done and is doing and will do in times of revival. I'm thinking about, as we face this coronavirus thing right now, uh, Alexander Dowie, he's one of the founders of the healing movement. When he was still pastoring in Australia, his uh, city was hit by a, a flu or a plague of some kind, and a lot of people were dying and uh, very, very sick. And he just began to pray over his congregation. And as he began to just come against that, all the deaths in his congregation stopped. There were no more after that. I'm, I'm reminded of the, the, I believe it was the SARS epidemic. I have a good friend named uh, Dennis uh, Balcom in, in Hong Kong. And he said at, at, a, at the height of that, when it was so much fear and so much was happening, the church uh, leaders called a 40-day fast, and they fasted and prayed for 40 days. And when that prayer, and a time of prayer and fasting in 40 days was over, that day SARS stopped in Hong Kong. And so we have answers and there is power in the name of Jesus. And I believe that just as in the first great awakening in America and Jonathan Edwards in Northampton, uh, Massachusetts, a smaller community, um, there had been a lot of prayer for revival. And then some virus or something happened and two young men in good health died. I think it's the enemy overplaying his hand. Anyway, as a result of that, it caused the people to begin to think about eternity and mortality. And it was actually the, like the, the match that was struck that caused the revival to break out. I believe that as we move toward this time of a billion, sar whole, billion soul harvest, that uh, even what we're facing right now, God is able to use it. He doesn't cause it, but he's able to use it for his glory and cause people to begin to think about spiritual things. May God do so, and may we see revival. And may we believe in Psalms 90, that in the protection of being under his wing and uh, nothing coming toward us uh, and against us. And so I pray the blessing of God over you, and may he protect you in this time. May you, you have his peace on you, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in this virus.